So we're here today to talk about uh, the advantages and disadvantages of different laser technology, fiber laser versus egg laser. For those of you that don't know um, laser welding yet, um, the big advantage of laser welding versus TIG welding is much lower heat input into the base metal, therefore a, a much smaller to basically no heat affected zone, um, much less sink and much easier machinability. You're starting with a smoother surface that's closer to the rock wall of the base metal than a lot of welds, two welds that are glass hard in certain cases, constantly chipping your cutters or have a lot more material removal. Um, so with the laser, a lot of times you're able to do a simple grind or maybe um, cut it close and then hand polish it in if it's, you know, if you have a skilled polisher that's capable of doing it in house. Instead of having a, a very highly skilled TIG welder with 20 years of experience, a laser is something that we can get somebody trained on in a matter of a few days and they can actually be working on, on repairing your molds in house. Um, you know, if your tool room does PMs on molds and you have damaged corners, you can repair them in your shop in a matter of minutes versus having to send them out to a qualified TIG welder and then having to remachine it or possibly send it out to another shop for machining. Fiber laser is a newer technology that involves less consumable parts, consumes less energy, and a water cooled system. So it's just span cooled, so it puts less ambient heat into your shop. Effectively, you know, lowering your heating or your cooling bills, air conditioning, etc. Fiber laser is a much more consistent technology, but you need more wattage to get the same peak power as a YAG laser. So if you have a 300 watt YAG laser, you might get a, a more powerful pulse, but with fiber, you're going to get a lot more speed when you're welding a, a bigger job or a larger component. You need to build up a shutoff or something, 20 thousandths with a fiber machine, as long as the part can withstand a little more heat into the part, you can add a lot more material faster than you can with the YAG machine. The advantages of the YAG is it is older technology, so therefore it is less expensive. So we're just going to take you through the machines and just show you some of the technical aspects of how the YAG compares to the fiber and the different work, inner working components to show you the simplicity of a fiber versus a YAG. This unit here is the lamp pump ND YAG system. I will show you on this side what the laser consists of. Inside this area, we have the cooling system, which consists of Deionized water and a pump, as well as a heat exchanger to circulate the air and the water to cool off the machine. This unit in the back is the power supply that controls the voltage and the current of the lamp. This unit here is called the rim. This area inside is called the resonator, which consists of a front mirror or an output mirror, the lamp, the rod, and a rear mirror. The energy is created between the two mirrors when the lamp pulsates that excites the laser rod. When that happens, photons exit the rod on the ends and then they bounce back. And that continual process builds up the laser beam. And that's what creates the energy. This mirror is 70% passive, 30% reflective. 70% of this energy will exit this way out to be focused to your part. 30% gets bounced back to keep the energy going. This area has to be aligned and these parts need to be replaced every so often. Sometimes the mirror burns, sometimes the coating just wears away. The lamp will wear out in time depending on your pulse duration and the overall use of it. This unit is the fiber laser system. The laser that comes out comes through this fiber, travels all the way up to the front of the machine. The fiber comes through this cable, comes through a collimator, 
gets focused down to your product.